just 48 hours to go before the first vote is cast in the state of Gujarat and the battle has intensified in the poll-bound state. In an unsparing attack, Prime Minister Narendra Modi slammed the terror sympathizers saying when terrorism was at its peak during the Congress rule and the party targeted him instead of the terrorists because of the vote bank politics. Now without mincing any words, the Prime Minister said that Congress considered terrorism as its vote bank, adding that several other parties also indulged in appeasement politics. Now, on the other hand, he also cited how Congress netas were uh, crestfallen after the Batla House encounter and some even wept for the eliminated terrorists. So, first of all, let's listen in to this skidding attack by the Prime Minister. Delhi mein jab Batla House encounter hua, to Congress ke neta aatankiyo ke samarthan mein rone lage rone. कांग्रेस आतंकवाद को भी वोट बैंक की नजर से देखती है तुष्टिकरण की दृष्टि से देखती है और सिर्फ कांग्रेस ही नहीं है अब तो ऐसी भांति भांति के दल पैदा हुए हैं ये दल भी शॉर्टकट की राजनीति में यकीन करते हैं उनको तो सत्ता की भूख भी जरा तेज है वो वोट बैंक की राजनीति करने पर उतारू है एपीजमेंट तुष्टिकरण के पॉलिटिक्स में इंटरेस्टेड है साथियों 2014 में आपके एक वोट ने आपके वोट की ताकत देखिए आपके एक वोट ने आतंकवाद को कुचलने में हमारी बहुत मदद की है भारत के शहरों में तो छोड़िए अब सीमा पर भी आतंक फैलाने से पहले आतंकियों के आकाओं को सौ बार सोचना पड़ता है लेकिन कांग्रेस हो या वोट बैंक के भूखे कुछ दल ये लोग सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक पर भी सवाल उठाते हैं हमारा गुजरात भी लंबे समय तक आतंक के निशाने पर रहा है सूरत हो अहमदाबाद हो इन शहरों में सीरियल बम धमाकों में बहुत से गुजरात के मेरे भाई बहन मारे गए थे कुछ महीने पहले अहमदाबाद कोर्ट ने इन गुनेगारों को गंभीर सजा दी है दिल्ली में बैठी कांग्रेस सरकार आतंकियों को छुड़ाने में अपनी पूरी ताकत लगा देती थी हम कहते रहे कि आतंक को टारगेट करो लेकिन कांग्रेस की सरकार आतंक को नहीं मोदी को टारगेट करने में लगी रही even when it comes to the top BJP leaders who have been echoing Prime Minister Modi and has been asking the Congress the question whether it has that gumption to deny the truth. Listen in. The Congress cannot deny that it is Sonia Gandhi who shed tears for a slain terrorist. The Congress cannot deny that it is for a slain terrorist that well-meaning police officers were hounded. The Congress cannot deny that not only one Batla House incident, but also many an incidents across the country, including 26-11, saw the Congress apathy, especially towards issues of law and order and action against terrorism. Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ne un partiyo ka parda fash kiya hai, jinho ne rashtra niti aur atankwaad par bhi vote bank ki raaz niti ki hai. हमें याद है कि किस प्रकार से जब कांग्रेस की सरकार थी तब बाटला हाउस एनकाउंटर हुआ तो मोहनचंद शर्मा जी की शहादत पर नहीं आतंकियों के मरने पर सोनिया गांधी फूट फूट कर रोई थी और केवल कांग्रेस ही नहीं बल्कि आम आदमी पार्टी ने भी बाटला हाउस एनकाउंटर पर सवाल उठाए थे अरविंद केजरीवाल ने ये सवाल उठाए थे और मोहनचंद शर्मा जी की शहादत पर सवाल उठाए गए थे ये दल राष्ट्र हित से राष्ट्र सुरक्षा से और आतंकवाद की लड़ाई से समझौता करना चाहते थे ताकि वोट बैंक की राजनीति ऊपर की जा सके और राष्ट्र नीति को नीचे किया जा सके well, Prime Minister Modi's surgical strike on Congress has left the latter rattle, but then the Congress party came forward deflecting and perhaps they asked Prime Minister to speak on key issues. Listen in. 
We have Modi always diverse the attention. Now, in midst of uh, elections in Gujarat, he is talking about the things which are absolutely false, be it uh, uh, battle encounter or explosion in <coughs> Surat and Ahmedabad. And of course, the whole world knows is that after uh, removal of 370 terrorism will come to an end. Did it come? Never. Rather, it has increased. And 20, uh, at the time of 2011, Mr. Modi gave the statement, rather criticized at that time the government. In a way, he helped uh, Pakistan. That was not the time to get divided. It was the time to get united. Now, citing what it calls the opposition's pro-terror rap sheet, the BJP reminded its rivals how they, in the past, doubted Batla House encounter. Rabal Ravzar Toki Raza, who has a soft corner for Congress, had termed Batla House terrorists as martyrs. Now, top Congress leader Salman Khurshid had claimed on record that Sonia wept after she was shown the image of bullet riddled bodies of terrorists. Now, this has also happened in the past as far as Digvijay Singh also calling it as the encounter as fake. Even Mamata Banerjee calling the encounter fake, demanding a judicial probe. Straight away, going across now to Rishabh joining us at this point. Rishabh, straightforward attack by the Prime Minister where he said that it was the BJP government in Gujarat that cracked down the sleeper cells of terrorists and took action against them. Well, uh, if you see, this is by far the most scathing attack by the Prime Minister to to, uh, against uh, Congress, you know, uh, Prime Minister has been talking about what Congress has done and what Congress has, has uh, you know, what led to uh, the decline of Congress in Gujarat. But this attack is basically by far a, uh, the most scathing attack. Even Smithy Irani, while she was speaking here in Ahmedabad last night, uh, we were there at the rally. She was no hold bar. Uh, she had no hold bar attack on Congress. She went on and on attacking Congress. So one thing is clear. BJP has nullified the presence of AAP in Gujarat. They say that Gujarat will have no, uh, uh, Ahmadi Party will have no impact in Gujarat. Hmm. And now they understand Congress is the primary opposition and all guns open against uh, Congress. Well, of course, and it's just few hours uh, which are left for the state to go to polls. And ahead of that, uh, politics has, of course, intensified in the state. Uh, well, thank you for all the updates.